Hello, my friends, and welcome back to episode 15 of Sky Factory 2. Yes, we are where we left off the last episode in the deep, dark, the deep, dark world. A scary world. Actually, it's not too bad. I like my little, what, 5x5x5 five by five by five room? I can live in here for a while. All right. <laughs> What are we going to do today? We are going to finish two achievements, and they're not going to be easy. Well, craft a chunk loader, easy, no problem, no problem at all. Craft and use. Now, crafting is not easy. Using an ender quarry is easy. So, crafting the ender quarry is going to be a pain in our butt. So, and all the steps we got to use to get this baby running efficiently. Efficiently. So, first thing we are going to do here is we're going to investigate the deep dark a little bit. <laughs> oh, the deep dark. So, the first thing we want to do is dig down to the deep dark. And let me explain a little bit about the deep dark. This top layer is all cobblestone or stone. If you look at it, it's just pure stone. No other um, ores are in here. The top area is almost like the sky, the upper sky area is all just stone solid stone and in a minute we're going to hit cobblestone when we hit cobblestone oh, there it is right there we are very close to going into the void space and then at the bottom of the void space is like the earth the the overworld where the ores start so you see i probably have two of these and i i'm gonna fly i'm gonna go back up and i'm gonna light this area up a little bit that way we can find it later okay doesn't hurt to overdo this, I don't think. What do y'all think? And one there, one there. Hot dog. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fall straight down. That way when I want to come back, I just fly straight up and I can get my way out of here. And we're going to dig down to level 30. Because just like the overworld, that's where all the good ores are. Um, there are some of the way. But we just go down to level 30 and we should be okay. Now, in the deep dark area here, you have to worry about the shadow. Um, whenever you stay in the dark area too long, the shadow will get you to get away from it. All you have to do is light the area up a little bit. All right, I'm going to dig down to level 30, dig a little room, a 5x5 five five room, and then we will proceed from there. I'll see you in just a second. All right, I've dug a little 5x5 five five room here. Um, this should get us all set up and ready for a lava generator. Actually, not a lava generator. Yeah, a lava generator, a lava um, ender tank, and our ender quarry. And then we'll just have to build out the boundary where we want our quarry to go in just a minute. To show you how I've got this all set up, ready to go, uh, this just a little mark my corner area. We just fly straight up, and this should take me all the way up to the very top. Now, I could go back down and put another ender, let's say what, dark, dark portal. Um, but I don't want to mess with those damn ingots anymore that scared me on the first time i thought i was going to die so we have a deep dark portal here it's not a big deal to get back and forth from it so now i am going to go back we're going to build um, lava generators uh, ender tanks uh, a filter a little bit this a little that so the first thing i want to talk about is the ender tank let's go ahead and get it going we need two ender tanks we're going to use these ender tanks to, to supply us with lava um t-a-n-k yep, right there and I need two cauldrons real quick to make them. One, two. And it's going to supply us with lava and the deep dark for we can produce energy. Now, I am going to leave these all at white at the top. Until, I'm not going to change anything until we start needing to have more than one ender tank or one more than one ender chest. Everything is basically going to stay white. Um, okay, so we got the ender tank. Let's go ahead and get the screen back on. There we go. And we're going to place one of those ender tanks right here. And on this ender tank, it has a little knob. If I right click on it, it turns it. One is send, one is receive, it is naturally sending. So right now it's set to send this lava here, wherever the other tanks are. So this is my source. So we are of lava, and if you look at my hand, I actually have one that's filled with, filled with lava. Now if I change the color coding on this thing, it would go away. All right, next thing I want to build real quickly is a filter. And before I do that, let's go over. I need some chest. I am out of chest. And I don't know why mobs drop chest, but they do. Do I have room? Yep, there we go. I got 64 of them. 
and we need to build a basic filter. Let's put this thing in there. Basic filter. Oh, I guess I didn't get that right. Yep, there it is. Basic filter. Ba basic item filter. That's what we're building. I need a hopper for that, and a hopper, that's why I need the chest. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. And now I have the basic filter. There we go. All right, we are going to use that. Actually, I need, yeah, I got cobblestone. Good. We're going to use that right here. This is the input. Uh, all right, I don't think I've shown you. I moved the ender chest down here. This is where everything's going to be inputted. In the ender chest, it's going to have two ways to go out. You got one here, it's going to go right up into the cobblestone area. And you got one here, which is going to go into our ender chest, or yeah, ender um, AE unit. So right now, it's telling right now, it doesn't know where to send anything. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to send everything here, except for we're going to blacklist cobblestone. So we're going to put the filter in here. We're going to put one of those in there, and we're going to change that from whitelist to blacklist. Now it's saying anything go in here except for cobblestone. And when that goes in there, it automatically gets sucked into the AE unit back here. Sorry, I'm spinning around so much. So that is the whole idea. So let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and put some stuff in our, let's look at how much cobblestone we have in our system right now. Cobble. We got 24 blocks of it. So when I use my ender, chest, ender pouch here, and I put this stuff in there, it should not go up any. But everything else should. Okay. We don't need to put that in there. So is it going down? No. Oh, I need to turn on right here. I need to turn that off. There we go. And now it should start going down. There it goes. And it should be going, the cobblestone should automatically be going in there. So we should be good. And you'll see how much cobblestone we have now in our AU system. I don't want to, for it to fill us up with all cobblestone because we, we're saving our memory. That's why we're doing this. And we, we are trying to get this deep storage unit full. Right now we're at technically 3.4% because I think it's 200 million or something like that. 2 million or something like that. 2 billion or something like that. It's, it's, out, it's, it's going to take a long time to fill up. All right. So next thing we want to do, we got a lava tank. We got our filter going. We need to do a chunk loader and we can mark that off on our book. So chunk loaders are pretty easy. We need to build another enchanting table. We've done one of those before. It's not too hard. We have plenty of resources for it. We'll throw that in there. And now we have everything for our table. So we need one of those. And we have our chunk loader. What are we needing the chunk loader for? We want this tank, this chest right here to stay open, which we just looked at, the ender chest. And we also want our lava down here to stay always loaded. That way we have ability to get lava to the deep dark and we're able to send stuff back to the chest from the deep dark. So I guess we'll put this somewhere right here in the middle. Right there is good, I guess. And we're going to right click, we're going to show the lasers and see how we do here. And let's see if it goes all the way over here. Yep, this is loaded. That is good. I actually, you can't move this any because it always goes right here to the closest chunk. And you see, if it was, nope, it's not loading my chest here. So we need to open up the chunk loader and add one more chunk to it. Plus that. And now we should have all this loaded in. Yep, so we're good now. Our chunk loader is going to keep all this loaded. We're in the deep dark area. So we can hide the lasers. Good. Sorry. Now, next thing we need to do is. I have a lava generator already. We can go ahead and put that in our storage. Lava. I built a couple of those. Next episode, we're going to take eight of these things and uh, make our thing really overpowered. But I don't have time to do that this episode. We have to build a QEE, QEE or some kind of thing to build it. So we'll worry about that on the next episode, upgrading. All right, so we got that. What else do we need? We need um, ender tank, ender chest, sorry. I have an extra one of those. And then we also need to build the fun part. All right, I'm going to take a break here. I want to make sure I have everything ready to go, and then we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We are going to start working on this ender quarry. This is going to be the hardest thing that I have to build in this episode and get going. Once we get through this, everything is pretty easy. Just to let you know, there's a lot of cool upgrades for this stuff. 
Um, you could speed it up. You could get uh, Fortune out of Fortune 3. There's all kind of silk touch. There's really some cool stuff. I really like this. This is a really cool little thing. And it, the way it runs, we'll show you how it runs. It runs really cool too. I like the way it runs. All right, so real quickly, I believe I'm going to need about 22 of these things. So let's go ahead and get these going. We got one, two, three, four, five, one more. So I think I need 22. So we got 24 of those. That should be plenty of those. Now this is the hardest thing to build these things here and it doesn't make much sense. It looks like it's one for one, but when I make it, it looks different because I've tried this once before. So just go ahead. It won't bring it over. You know. So you see, what is the recipe? I think gold's on the corners. Okay. So we put gold on the corners and we put the chest, the bookshelf in the middle and then just, I got random ones I didn't really like too much and this will give us see I got 12 right there so it's not really one for one I'm not really sure where it gets the ratio at but that's okay we'll take that and it's interesting look it didn't even use all the books it only used one of the books so it's really strange so how many of these do I need I need I need eight of them so I have plenty now for that so we don't have to worry about any more of those we'll put these away I can put that away and that away. There we go. Oh, I need to burn some quartz. Quartz blocks. Uh, it's a Q U. Let's see. There we go. T just take four of these things and it builds a block. So we were able to do the four blocks. I need to go ahead and get those going. Let's see which one is this? Uh, is my alloy smelter at work? We'll put those in there and get them burnt. That is one of the big things. Let's see. Ender quarry. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get these. We need a whole bunch of these. How many do we need? One there. One, two. I guess two. Three, three, four. Four of them. I need four of these. There we go. One, two, three, four. Put that in the system. And let's see, what do we need here? I think I, yeah, I think I have everything. There we go. Need two of these. All right, put that in there need I got those already got that already and I'm burning that right now so are they ready wait a minute turn the quartz into how, how, huh all right how do you make this I guess I have to use a regular furnace all right let me go ahead and do four more of those we'll see what happens Q yeah I don't need it One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I have enough quartz blocks to last me a while, but I can break those down. Just put these in the furnace, see what happens to them. Hopefully, they won't. Uh... Let's look at it again while it goes. Da 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 da. What will it be? What will it be? What will it be? There we go. So we need four of these bad boys. What else do we need? There's something else I, I was looking at. Quartz. No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, Ender quarry. What else do we need to do to get this thing going? We got quartz there. We got that. We got that. We need, oh, I need some buckets of lava and buckets of water. So let's get that going real quick. Two of each. So I need four buckets real quick. There we go, four buckets. Let's get our water real quick. Whee, I love flying. One, two, two buckets of lava. One, two, all right. Oh, and our quartz. Nope, don't want to do that. Got our burnt quartz, and that should be everything to build our ender quarry. Let's see. Put that in the system. And we'll put ender quarry. And I believe we need to build these things here. 
I should have everything ready for that. Yep, need two of these, right? And then we need one of these. And now we should have everything for the ender quarry, right? Oh, I'm missing something. What am I missing? I'm sure I have trees, but I'll, uh, maybe I don't. Let's get a tree. Let's see a sapling. Okay. And I guess that'll be everything. Hopefully. Da, da, da. And then I need to build some fences. And I think we should have everything. There's our ender quarry. So we have everything ready to go. I need to do some fences real quick. F -E -N -C -E. I don't think I have anything built. I need a, probably about a stack of these. So I need some more wood. All right, let me build these real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go to the ender portal. I'm gonna go down to the room. Um, I will set things up and as soon as I get it all set up, we will go from there. All right, let's show you, well, I have to show you. It's really simple to get there. See, that's, and we got fall damage. Uh, that's that light, okay. I need to put torches in there. That way I won't have to fall, hit things like that. All right, let me go ahead and set this up. I'm going to put some fences around here, and I'll show you how it all works as soon as we get back. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. We have uh, laid out the room a little bit. I think I've got about a 16 by 16 square. I think I got off by a little bit because i got five fence posts left over. Basically, with the ender quarry, uh, you don't have to do this as high. You only really have to do it too high because that way you can get through here. Um, I did three high before I could walk up here and show you how you lay a fence all the way around the perimeter. And once you get, it's just a regular Minecraft generic wood fence. And once you get it all the way around, you come up to your um, ender quarry thing here and you can right click on it and it will tell you analyzing the fence boundary and then it tells you if it's working. Let me go ahead and unhook one, destroy one of these and I'll show you what it looks like when it doesn't work. Now if we right click on it, it says uh, mining, uh, what? Mining, it shouldn't be mining. Shouldn't have any energy to mine. Oh well. It should t give us a, let's, let's break it. Cause I want you to see what it looks like when it's not working. Now if we right click on it, it says analyzing fence boundary, query is not connected, fence boundary on one side. So fence boundary on one side. So it's not connected on this side. So now it's, for some reason it's thinking it's mining when you right click on it. Yep. It's good, and now it's mining. It tells you exactly where it's mining. What's really neat about this, I don't know if you've seen quarries before, they used to just go at one level at a time, then go down to the next level. This one does one block, goes all the way down to the bedrock, and then moves over and goes all the way down to the bedrock and gets all the blocks. And what's really cool is it replaces it with dirt. So now we have plenty of dirt if we ever need dirt. All right, so what next thing we need to do, I, I put the generator right here. It's a lava generator. On top of the lava generator, I am going to put this. I'll do that in just a minute. And on top of the ender quarry, I'm going to put a ender chest. So everything should automatically fill into that and then it should automatically go to our area over there. So just, this whole thing needs some power and this isn't much power, but it's enough to get it going. We're going to put our ender tank right on top here. We're going to turn this sucker here. So now it's going to drain into here. We got power now. We got lava. It's, power is going so fast, it's going out so quickly, it's not even noticing. All right, so now it is actually working. It is going really slow. Um, you can see it there. We are going to beef this sucker up in the next episode, and we'll see how it works. Um, you can right-click on it if you want, and you can see where it's actually doing its work at. Minus 58, 26, and 17. Let's see if we can find that. Double-click. Let's see. Minus 58. Let's see where it is. Text. Minus 58, 26, and 17. Minus 58, so it's right here on this end. And then 16. Yep, it's right here. See, it's already converted this stuff into dirt, and it's just going all the way down. So it will go through all this stuff. You see how far up it goes? It only goes a few blocks up, so it goes so it gets the fence, one, two, let's see, let's look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six layers up, and then it goes all the way down to bedrock. So that's how it works. Just go ahead and check these babies off of our books. Let's see, there it is right there. 
and we have now successfully loaded the chunk loader and we now have the ender quarry going and I will finish the episode up at the base that way we can see how all this is working and in the next episode we're going to upgrade this one to really getting this thing bad boy going fast I'm not really that worried about it because we have enough uh, oh, what do you call it uh, enough stuff that we don't need any more ores or anything from sieving and everything so I'm not really that resources we have enough resources I'm not that worried about it but you know it won't hurt and I'll show you how to make it run a little bit better and more efficiently all right let's get up here real quick and see how it's running okay that is it that is the end of this episode I hope this has helped we have learned how to make of course the lava generators again ender tanks ender quarry we've learned to filter our chest and how to make things filter a little bit we got the chunk loader going it's been a very good productive episode if you have any questions, leave them below. If you have any comments on how I can do it better, leave them below. Next episode, um, I guess we're going to upgrade and beef this thing up a little bit because I have to use a QED, uh, uh, something like that, and we will learn all about the QED and getting things beefed up. All right, until next time, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Make sure you share this, and again, subscribe. Again, have a great day, my friends.